Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to uh, Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals. So, last time I stole some elf power from an elf shrine, and now I'm going back to Portravia. In the hopes that, uh, they'll have upgraded my ship, otherwise I don't know what to do. sirion has been remodeled. You can submerge by pressing THE BUTTON while at sea. By the way, I didn't catch your name, young elf. I'm Artie. I'm Lexus. Sorry for the ooze. I never thought a lab could cause such a muck. As long as you understand that, it's okay. Besides, you solved the problem. Well, that's the least I can do. Maxim, what happened to Aaron? Seems like he went back under the sea. People in the city also saw the ball of light go under near Barnet. That may might have been it. I see. Barnet's west of the sea. Maxim is all up to you, man. I know. I'm not sure that's the translation they should have gone with. It's west of the sea. Alright, unicorns. I think they're weak to what? Fire? Yep. Okay, I guess it's west of the sea. So I just push the A button and I go underwater. That's cool, right? There's like three locations accessible from here, I believe. Well, directly. Oh, right. You know what I want to do? Go to Pico Forest. Oh, hey, look at this. Mall Shrine to Egg to Dragon Egg. I see you've collected eight dragon eggs. Choose a wish. Ten potions. 20 fruits, ancient shield, set of super rings. I'm gonna go with the ancient shield. I shall make your wish come true. I got the ancient shield. Hooray. If you get four wishes and then come back, I think it's four wishes, he'll uh, fight you. Old shield. Legendary old shield, which provides an extremely high level of protection. Reduces the damage from all monster attacks by 50 for a short period. In fact, use around 50%. Let's see. So, Guy and Artie come equipment. 351, 347. Artie needs it slightly more. Gold Gloveser. Old Shieldser. I like it. So, the Dragon Eggs have gone out to random places. Not fixed places. Random dungeons throughout the world. So isn't that nice? And uh, the best way to find them is to get a jewel stone, <clears throat> jewel stone and revisit uh, places we've already visited, and use the jewel stone to see if there's treasure there. Next, I want to head to here. Submarine cave to shrine. Oh, I can't go in here yet. There's a couple of places I need a special item to enter, and this is one of them. Anyway, welcome to Upside Down Triforce Islands. You can't access it from the water. Alright, and then there's one other place that I wanted to access. Oh, I can't warp from underwater. The rail. Alright. 
derail. Do you have access to magic yet? Oh. I'm guessing that I won't be able to buy anything from here until it comes up in the plot. Wait a minute, what if I go west? Whoops. I pressed the L. Oh, okay, so this is the place I believe. Yeah, check this out. Welcome to Chade. I see smoke coming from the mountain south of the city. You can actually go to that mountain right now, by the way. You can get all the way to the end, the boss doesn't appear there until the plot demands you go there. But, uh... Oh, hey! The Buster Sword that so many of my capsule monsters keep asking for. Great axe. Rune Rapier. Item Shop. x potion Magic Board. Dragon Tooth, attack all enemies. So, the thing about this place. Oh, hey, that must be the Elder. Is there a magic shop here? No. Okay. The thing about this place is that while it has some cool stuff, I'm actually going to cheat fate by going south to the mountain. Because there's something I want to do there first. A puzzle. That I want to do. Oh hey look, white dragons. They have uh, some pretty cool stuff. And by pretty cool stuff, I mean fruit that can cause a certain capsule monster to reach its final form. Or revert a different capsule monster. Holy fruit! Yeah. So, this is Dragon Mountain. Oh hey, look at that. So this place you cannot use for anything just yet because the way it's set up, it's an exit rather than an entrance. Mighty crows are flying Pokemon weak to ice. Didn't seem like they're especially weak to ice or fire for them at all. I try and run away. Sheesh. Okay, so Max and heal us. Sure, Valor for 500 to all of us. I do appreciate how this game lets you just straight out avoid random encounters. Game. 
There's a lot of aspects of this game that are pretty hit or miss, including the puzzles, actually. But I like that they tried. Drop up elevator, required weight of one ton. Trying to lure things onto this drop up elevator. I gain one of those big monsters that takes four spaces to come onto. You need all of them, apparently. Okay, so, no! Okay. Yep. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to try and figure out some way to kill these crows. What, are they weak to thunder or something? Especially. See, this puzzle isn't so great because you can't control where the dragon goes or where this monster goes, and I think you need them both on this platform in order to make it fall. I mean, seriously. Okay, oh, hey, green dragons use water. It's so weird that that one block above Selen's head just doesn't register the dragon attack. Alright, I want Maxim to be healing us. Here's the problem. I was not being very smart about this. That was entirely my fault. It's red, probably weak to water. It's throwing fire at me, probably weak to water. Yeah! 
This guy does look like a weakness to water. What's up with that one flower that's different, but uh... somehow this time? This isn't where I wanted to go. Hmm. Hmm. This is where I wanted to go. So, the problem with this puzzle, whoops, is that it involves lots of switching back and forth between skills. You know, lots of menu stuff. to the left side here. I need to... Oh! I haven't seen one of these in a long time. S Pro Ring and Magic Scale. Okay, so... The S Pro Ring is a super protect ring. Greatly increases defense power. S stands for super. So, uh, yeah. Those exist. Super versions of rings. And, uh, one of the wishes you can get from the Egg Dragon is a super ring set. Uh, I'm not sure how to escape now. Fortunately, this spell exists. That way, you can't lock yourself out like that. Use fire us to burn grass so it doesn't grow back. Wait, really? This puzzle? Oh no. So this puzzle is the puzzle that I cannot solve on my own. It requires a precise set of movements, and if you do it wrong, This puzzle I can never solve on my own because it requires such... It requires you to memorize where to go with it. I just don't think this is a good puzzle. In fact, I'd go so far as to say this is probably the worst puzzle in the whole game. Yeah, that, 
that part is the part that I cannot uh, deal with. Okay, so... Okay, I messed up already. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Turn left, fire. Left, fire. Down, right, turn up, fire. Left, 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 left. Turn down fire. Up fire. Right, 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 right. Turn up fire. Turn down fire. Left, left. Turn down fire. Right, right. Turn up fire. Left, up. Turn up fire. Down, left. Turn up fire. Turn down fire. Right, right. Turn up fire. Okay. Hate that puzzle. But clearing it gives access to this. Whoops. This wall's a funky one to figure out. But once you do figure out, whoops! It gives you access to this. This is the world's most difficult trick. Would you like to try? Before you start, let me explain them. The purpose of this game is to bring the panel in the back of the treasure chest on it to the to in front of you by moving various panels. When you press A, the movable panels light up. Use the control panel to move them. If you'd like to quit midway through, use the recess spell. It is a difficult trick, but you can solve it. Good luck. Hey, remember this music? Okay, I'm trying to conceptualize what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, so there are always two, precisely two, open spaces. And I need to make it so uh, the two open spaces are in front of this treasure thing. So the treasure thing can move downward. And the thing is, I need to try and maneuver things such that pieces adjacent to the two open spaces are these single square pieces.
I guess I want to make that far left space be a square. That space. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. So, I want to move. Okay, trying to think about how to do this. If that far left space is a square, then I could move it up. This is apparently a game called Klotsky. Maxim just moves his arms like he's shoving something when I switch colors, or when I switch which block I'm controlling. Okay. So everything's in the wrong positions now. Not be rotated. Only moved around. So we need to move this to one side and those treasure boxes to the other side in order to move the treasure boxes down. music from, what was it, Autumn earlier? Alright, I'm gonna try again. Okay, so then. Do something like that. No, not quite.
do this There's a few basic movement concepts that you need to master to make this work well, and I have not mastered those clearly. Alright, let's reset the puzzle again. Anyway, these treasures are the ones I'm after. to be
Okay. Okay, that makes sense, right? Alright, move this over here. Back down here. Okay. I'm not saying much. It's just a uh... I'm trying to think this through. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, that's terrific. How are you able to do it? Come again, smile. Mega shield. Holy robe. Legend helm. And lizard blow. Lizard Blow. Very effective against dragons. Three times more damage than normal attack effective against dragons. 524. Yeah, I want the highest attack character to have the highest possible attack. Let's see. Holy Room. Only Selen and Artie can equip it. Let's see. 311. 
Restores HP of each member of your party by user's max HP level. Let's see, 280 or 304 maximum hit points. Okay, there was also a helmet and a shield, I believe. Mega shield, stronger than steel. Protects user from punch attacks for a short period. That is not a uh, very good uh, thing because punch attacks are uh, a very small subset of attacks. Oh wow, I haven't really changed the Eron hat bond. Legend helmet, helmet hand down from the heavens. Returns attacks back against enemy at half strength for a short period. That's cool. Let's see, 278, 393, 3. Alright, and so with that settled, I'm gonna get out of here. Do note that I did use a uh, guide to help me with the grass puzzle, because for whatever reason, the grass puzzle does not stick in my head. So let's go back to Chade. And then outfit ourselves with weapons and armor. Buster sword for you. Really? The great axe is better than the lizard blow, huh? Zerko rod. Oh, I can only afford one of these for one character. So Zerko equipment kind of sucks because it has no IP. Great stats, but no IP. Rune rapier. Bomb attack. All right, how about armor? Eron dress. Made from Eronite. Heals user of all damage. Ah. Uh, metal jacket, made from metal. Holy cap. Rune gloves. Shadow guard. So, yeah. That's it for my little uh, side quest today. Join me next time when I go to Barnum. Or rather, when I go investigate the light that went to the scene near Barnum. I will see you then.